Hello, and welcome back to King's Quest 7. As you may recall, we need to find some magic ingredients, or rather some ingredients to make a magic potion that will turn uh, Rosella back into a human. So we're going to head off to the east, into this cavern in the top right, and see what we can find there. Then, just a touch of frog lips, a dash of mouse noses, a sprinkling of spider legs. <laughs> you are so wonderful. You are the most beautiful stew in the world. All you need is. A juicy bat, or a tender rat! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean any- Out, out, out of my kitchen, you dreadful peasant! No! Stop! Well, that sounded like a <laughs> Don't worry, my little stew. You're safe from that dreadful girl. Her peasant lips will never touch you. Surprisingly, we did not die. The first time I played this game, I thought I had died, but uh, but we didn't. We just got thrown out of the kitchen. But we're gonna go back in there because he was rather rude to us. <laughs> he said he needed a bat for steel, so we're gonna give him a rat to chase. What's going on? Who's there? A juicy, tender rat. Just what I need for my stew. Come here, you little tidbit. Oh, where'd he go? So the rat opens the door and comes back out. Uh, you gotta love it. Blech! That's enough to give a person nightmares. <laughs> they could cook a moose in there. <laughs> Gosh, they probably are! <laughs> They really are cooking loose in there. Alright, what do we have here? A bowl. A golden bowl. 14 carat by the looks of it. Alright, well, we got ourselves a bowl. I already have a gold bowl. I shouldn't be greedy. Very nice, Rosella. Let's not be greedy. We'll, we'll just take one. I'm not letting him out. No way. Uh, what's interesting, actually, I don't know if I can. Okay, I can show you. Oh, no, I. No, I can't. Yeah, I can. It just wasn't sparkling. This bowl is actually. It looks like it might be gold, but it's not. It's brass made of falderol. And uh, we'll actually uh, we'll get to falderol elsewhere uh, later in the game. 
but uh, we don't want a brass bowl. We want a gold bowl. So, with that one. And we'll take this one. And finally, we'll take a look at this. I already have some of those. I guess I don't need any more right now. We're gonna get out of here. That stew is driving me nuts. Something interesting about these baked beetles. Um, you can actually eat them, but watch what happens once you do. Hmm. You eat one, and then another. And then one more. Ooh, I can't believe I ate bugs. I'll never do that again. exactly sure why though. I've never understood why you die from eating beetles. I mean, you don't die in real life from eating beetles. And it doesn't make sense that you would die in the game from eating them. The only thing I can think of is that maybe the, um, maybe for some reason they didn't program the machine to give you more beetles in case you uh, ate those. And so they just decided to make you die from eating them. But that doesn't really make sense. So, I don't know. It's just, it's one of the weird things about this game. You die from eating those, so. You know, Wendy, I've had so much trouble sleeping lately, Blotar snores like a dragon with heartburn. Let me tell you, Eglatine, I have the same problem with Hogarth. I just use wet sulfur. I put a lump of wet sulfur in the fireplace at night and it puts me right out. Why I sleep so soundly, Hogarth sometimes has to wake me with a flower under the nose. <laughs> a flower? Eee! You must have been sleeping like a log if you needed a nasty, smelly flower to wake you up. Well, well, well. You learn something new every day. Yeah, like I said before, the acting is, well, it just is. Excuse me, good ladies, but, but would you happen to know anything about Malisha? Oh, look, Winnie! It's the king's new bride to be! Isn't she the cutest little thing? Oh, my dear! You're the luckiest troll in the world! Oh, it's going to be the most beautiful wedding. And won't you be the most beautiful bride? Oh, I always cry at weddings. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, ladies? Weddings always make me cry. <laughs> oh, 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 good lord. Oh, 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 oh. oh, never mind. Yeah. If you haven't uh, figured it out already, these two are the wives of the trolls we met earlier. And uh, they're just about as much help as their husbands. So we'll leave them be. Alright, we are going to head off to the west now, and we'll see what we can find over there.
pardon me, sir, but I was wondering... Well, wonder no longer, sweet potato. I am the troll of your dreams. <laughs> uh, now, see here, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm engaged to the king. That's right, the king. Oh, well, I respect King Ota. You, you can bet on that. Uh, I'm sorry, my little rutabaga, but our love is not to be. You let me know if he dumps you, okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll be sure to uh, notify you of that. That's some nasty water. <clears throat> Excuse me. I didn't mean to startle you, sir. I am Rosella of Daventry. Oh, that's all right. I don't mind being interrupted by someone as charming as yourself. What can I do for you? Why, you're the most polite troll I've ever met. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... <laughs> don't apologize, my dear. I quite understand. I can't tolerate the company of most other trolls myself. Oppie Goldsworth, Master Jeweler, at your service. You don't like other trolls? You must be so lonely, Oppie. Oh, I am, Rosella. To tell you the truth, I'd do anything to leave this place. I'd love to go out and make my way in the world. Maybe I'd even become the court jeweler of Etheria. Why don't you? I don't have the money. All I have to my name is this old chipped hammer and chisel. Pardon me, my dear, but I really must finish this project. So he doesn't have the money. It also doesn't have anything to do with the fact that the Goo Guides killed the troll and showed him as a friend, but, you know, he just doesn't have the money. <laughs> yeah. Ew! Ew, it smells like rotten eggs in here. Hmm. Ugh! What's this? Green water? Green water. Water of emerald, perhaps? Let's see if we can take some with us. So here's our gold bowl with green water in it. And that's three of the ingredients down. where that rotten egg smell is coming from. This is interesting, um, because we have a small little jumping puzzle here. Um, it's still point and click, but it involves jumping from this side of the gorge to the other side. And you would think that you could just come down here to where Rosella is standing now and jump. Um, because this rock here highlights if you could just jump to this rock and 
room to the other one, because it's not that large of a space. The only thing is, if you try that... <coughs> Rosella just... ...jumps towards the middle, and falls to her death. I guess I got a little too close to the edge. Which, again, doesn't seem to make much sense. But, uh, so apparently you can't jump to that rock. What you have to do is come over here to this point, and jump to here. And then jump over here. So it's not very intuitive the way it's set up, but, eh, it works. Maybe it's sulfur. Ah, sulfur. The rotten eggs. What is sulfur? To be precise. That little goyle is a mold for casting things. I poured hot silver in there, see? And when it cools, I have a spoon. Um, yeah, she got cut off from that's what it was. I don't know why the audio just got cut off from Now, we have to need a silver spoon for our, uh, for our spell. Just borrow these tongs for a few minutes, sir. I just can't let you do that, Sugar Lips. How about a smooch instead? No thanks. Unfortunately. Your last cookie nose. Ugh, cookie nose. Unfortunately, you won't let us do that either. So we're just gonna have this Wow. You could melt rocks in there. What's that, Mama? Time for bed? Okay. Nighty night. <laughs> night, Mama. Good night, you big goon. <laughs> now the heat's taken care of. Yay! 
Yes. And there we have our silver spoon. I don't know why we can't take this along with us, but give me that lettuce. While we're at it, we might as well light our lantern with this fire. With the fire. Oh, darn. I let it get too cold. Doesn't look too stable. It does look a little rickety, doesn't it? That is actually the lift that takes you up to Gabuga. So we don't want to go up there yet anyway, since we're still in control. Come no further! Good day, sir. I am... I don't care who you are! This is my bridge, and I will only let you cross it uh, if you give me a thousand pieces of lead and a rat on a stick. Yeah, right. Well, I have a rat. I don't suppose you take this as a toll? No! I, Princess Rosella of Daventry, order you to let me pass. And I, Brutus Bone Crusher, says no! Well, that got me nowhere. That guy just won't listen to reason. <laughs> he needs to exit the puberty stage too. Alright, what have we up here? It's a little cart that's missing a wheel. And it's a cart that we can actually ride. Well, it does have a wheel missing, but heck, why not? <laughs> Very good, Rosella. Now you know that carts with three wheels don't go in a straight line. Actually, it kind of did go in a straight line. It's another strange thing about this game that's she was trying to go on this path here, which curves. The car just went right off the side. Which actually is more of a straight line than uh, you would expect. But hey. So we have a cart with three wheels. But we actually have something that might actually double, double for a wheel. That might work. If it weren't for that darn spike. Spike. I 
I apologize, the game is seems to be getting a little choppy for some reason. Not working properly. The spike we're talking about is this little thing right here. Fortunately for us, it comes out. You know, using that shield was a darn good idea. If only I'd attached it to the cart somehow. Heh <laughs> You know, sometimes... You gotta think a little more about things. And yes, that was intentional. I knew I had to attach this I'll just make sure that shield doesn't go anywhere. There. It's a nice puzzle, actually. Just wanted to show you some uh, alternate solutions that don't work. It's unfortunate that we had to kill the darn guy, but... I suppose. Well, I think that's gonna about wrap us up for now. Next time we'll head along this path and see what we can find at the end of it. But for right now, thanks for joining me. Hope to see you next time. Bye.